Hi tarot friends, it's Jade here from Tarot Your Truth and um, my channel is all about sharing my journey. Sorry, I'm going to put this down so I don't make anyone sick. Um, my channel is all about sharing my journey with the tarot and um, occasionally doing some deck walkthroughs. I'm uh, excited about this one. I was in New Orleans um, over the past weekend and uh, I Whenever I go somewhere, I tend to buy, I like to buy a souvenir from, um, from that, from that uh, place. And generally I try to buy something that is uh, actually indie made or, um, you know, typically I'm a knitter, so I would, I would buy some yarn that would, that was um, maybe spun and dyed by local, local artisans. And uh, this time I didn't buy any yarn because I had already done that last time. Um, and so this time I actually purchased the New Orleans Voodoo Tarot. Uh, I am <laughs> pretty excited about this deck. This deck I think is a little bit uh, too much for my skill level at this moment, but um, that's okay. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to working with it and really studying it. I do want to, um, I do want to give it the uh, time and attention it deserves and just right now I don't have the mental space for it but that's okay so it comes in this very large box uh, which opens up oh it's very hard actually to open when you don't have anything in the box but it's a little slides out this way the deck is uh, it comes split in half and then there's a book that goes over top. So it's just like a little drawer. I'm gonna put that aside. <clears throat> and the book that comes with it looks exactly like the cover of the, of the box that it came with. And that's a lot of reading, oh my goodness. It is, how many pages? There's 200 and 270 odd pages so it's quite it's uh, going to be quite the amount of work to get, to get through this which is absolutely fine um, I took a quick peek through it and sorry I just want to show you the table of contents here so um, a little bit about about voodoo I, do, I know next to nothing about voodoo so I'm, I am looking forward to learning a little bit a little bit more with this book, um, Voodoo in the Western Esoteric Tradition, Voodoo in the Tree of Life, uh, Tarot and Voodoo, some info on using the cards. I did uh, read that little section actually, which, um, so it seems to me that this deck, there's a couple of things that are very different um, from a typical, deck that's in the Rider Waite Smith tradition. So first of all, I think um, this isn't really meant to be read in the Rider Waite Smith um, format. I know that you probably can, um, but it is, it does seem quite different. And with the introduction of the Tree of Life and the Kabbalah in there, I think that uh, it's more on the Thoth side. But in any case, what do I know? And nothing actually other than just reading a few pages. So let's just quickly go through the cards. All right, and I'll see if I can make this a bit, a little bit bigger. Okay. There we go, just wanted to brighten that. Okay, so the world egg, which is number zero. Dr. John, Marie Laveau for the High Priestess, Aizen, I'm sorry if I mispronounce the words in here, Local, Master of the Head for number five, which would typically be the Hierophant, Marasa, Dance, 
possession. Couché. That means rest. Anyway, the market for number 10, which would normally be the Wheel of Fortune, right? Number 11 is secret societies. 12 is zombie. 13 is Le Mans, which um, is not just death, but Dead ones, I guess, because this actually refers to people. 14, bon ange. Good angel? I don't know. Um, courir le mardi gras for 15. Oh, the card's damaged. Well, that's annoying. 16 is Deluge. 17 is L'Etoile. Oh, Zetoile. Etoile is stars. I'm not sure what the Z means. Magic Mirror. Gros Bonange. Great. Good Angel, maybe. 20 is Ancestors, which would typically be Judgment. And 21 is Carnival, which is typically uh, the world. So you can see that these are very, very different than a Rider Waite Smith. Let's, oh, there's an extra card here, okay. Wild card, the Barons. All right, and so, we get to the uh, suits. So this is, I'm guessing, the suit of fire. Dambala la flambeau. Oh, okay. So these are arranged. So there's the the suit, or the element. Uh, maybe that's the suit name. I'm not sure. We'll see. And then the uh, value of the card. So this is an ace is the one. So we go from the ace of fire to the ace of water. To the ace of air. I had to think about that for a second. <laughs> I think those are clouds. Uh, to the ace of Earth, Santeria, okay, the two of fire, two of water, okay, so those do repeat, so I'm guessing that those are actually the suit names, so water is Congo, Rada is air, it's the two, and Earth is Santeria. We get to three. Pedro is fire. Three of cup, uh, water. Three of air. Three of earth. Four of fire. Four of water. Looks like a big mouth. <laughs> Four of air. So that's, you know, typically four of air. So this would be like the four of swords in a Rider Waite Smith, which is, you know, the four of swords is typically um, about rest meditation, um, rest after significant efforts or significant battle, um, you know, that in between period between battles. And this, um, 
I guess I'll have to sit with it for a bit, but that's not what this says to me at this moment. But I'm looking forward to reading the, reading the book. Okay. Four of Earth. Five of Fire. Let's go to the sword there. Five of Water. Maybe illness. Five of air. Kind of looks like a face. Well, that looks like another eye. And that looks like it's maybe a sword with a, in a fist. Hmm. I'll have to read what these are. Five of earth. Six of fire. Six of water. Six of air. Six of earth. Seven of fire. Seven of water. Seven of air. She looks like she's sweating. Rivers. Uh, so it was 94 degrees or so, 95 degrees when I was there. And I could tell you that, yes, I did also sweat rivers. It's flipping hot, yo. Um, seven of earth. Eight of fire. Interesting. Eight of water, eight of air, and eight of earth. Interesting. So the other three suits all had some sort of lizard or snake um, in them, and this is the only one that does not. Nine of fire, nine of water, nine of air. Nine of Earth, ten of Fire, ten of Water, ten of Air, ten of Earth. Um. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the equivalent to a page of Fire. Okay, and that word is repeated, so I'm guessing that that is, that is the name of this card. I'm just going to say page for now. Uh, of water. Page of air. Just for ease, I'm not trying to... Just, I don't know what these are just yet, so... Uh, did I miss one? Or am I missing a card? I might be missing a card here because I have I have fire, air, water. I don't seem to have the Hoongan of um, Earth. Okay. Santero. Maybe that's it. I don't know. All right. So mambo, that word is repeated. So I'm going to guess that this is the equivalent of the knight. The knight of fire. Just fighting a snake. The knight of water. The knight of air. Oh boy. Uh. Okay, so it seems like the earth symbols are different. So this was supposed to be the, the um, page of earth, which was called Hoongan. 
sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. And then it looks like this is the Night of Earth, which was, the other ones are all called Mambo, and this is Santera. Okay, then we get to the equivalent of Queen. I'm just guessing again. Um, so Queen of Fire. Queen of Water. Queen of Air. And again, we get to Santeria. Um, so this would be a different name for the Queen of Earth. Okay, and then we get to the equivalent of the Kings, just in terms of uh, court card, I guess. Um, who is this? So King of Fire. King of Water. Well, that's interesting. There's a face in there. King of Air. And then once again, Santeria um, Earth is has a different has a different name again. So that is very interesting. I'm I, I'm gonna have to. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is actually just read the book, so that I get a sense of what. Um, of what is what, and then figure out um, what all of that is about. There's going to be a bit of research that I'll have to go into here. I'm really bummed about this card being damaged. I guess it's not too, too bad right now, but let's see how these shuffle. This is kind of really awkward. if I could do it this way. Oop. I like it. Oh, I didn't show the backs. There are the backs. Very nice. White white borders, front and back, cardstock. Um, I don't think I'll be cutting these ones off. I think I'm gonna leave these ones the way they are. I don't want to, I would not want to cut the the um, names off. And even though I could write them on the cards, I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just going to leave them as is. I don't think I'm going to edge it either. Um, just because the white border in the back and the white border in the on the front, um, I think it looks fine. So let's just try a quick riffle. Good. I don't mind that. So I've been watching a lot of videos um, and one in particular, it's a new channel that I found. I don't think he's, he's not new. He's been around for a while and has, uh, he's not a small channel either. I just didn't know about him, um, is Tarot Oracle and he um, has a couple of videos about shuffling and in one um, I found it quite interesting he said you know some people like to riffle shuffle and they will uh, riffle shuffle once riffle shuffle twice riffle shuffle three times um, and in his opinion when you do that so you riffle shuffle the first time that's great the cards get you know re um, their positions get adjusted so you do get a bit of a shuffle and then um, in his opinion when you riffle shuffle again immediately after you're actually mostly just moving the cards back to where they were um, so I thought that was a little bit interesting I'm not sure if that is completely accurate or not but um, what he suggested instead which I have been doing uh, just because it seems to make sense is just riffle shuffling once and then doing this hand over hand bit for a bit 
and um, and then maybe just closing off with a with a last with a last riffle shuffle. I don't know. I keep you know you hear other people as well saying, oh, you know, you should you should keep uh, shuffling until you feel that zing. Um, and I don't know that that would work. So if you were riffle shuffling and then hand over hand, you may feel the zing. So then what do you do? Do you riffle shuffle again? Um, I don't know. Anyways, I guess it is up to everyone to do what they feel is best. But so for now, that is the New Orleans Voodoo uh, Tarot, which I'm very much looking forward to working with at some point. Um, I I think I mentioned before that uh, I would like 2020 to be a, um, de an in-depth year, so or a depth year, where I'm uh, not purchasing. I'm not purchasing decks. I won't promise not to buy any decks because I do have pretty poor willpower when it comes to certain things. But um, I certainly want to um, do some more in-depth study of the the decks that I actually that I actually own. So anyway, so bye for now. If you like this video, please do hit like and subscribe and uh, give me your comments. Have, do you have this deck? Have you worked with it? Um, do you do voodoo or, or not? Um, and if so, how does this, how does this deck work with you? Um, I'd, I'd love to know. Anyways, bye for now.